Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and just to remind everybody that are um, installing the Patch Tuesday updates. If you haven't installed the last update, the uh, update, the cumulative update for Windows 11 22H2, if you're on that particular version of Windows, if you have not installed the uh, update that were released in the end of February, uh, you are getting moment two in this update with the patch Tuesday. So just a reminder that this is something that is happening to you guys. So of course you'll be having some of the new features. So once again, your Windows version, and once you have this installed, is Windows version 22H2, which is 22621.1413. Which is the latest update. What does that bring once again in the moments? Well, first of all, you have a search in the taskbar that you can have different options now. So that search box not only has the option to be a big search box, it has an option to also be of different sizes. So whatever you want in the search box, you will actually have the ability to change it. So you'll have search icon labels, search and icon only, or the uh, the icon only under search box, and so on. And you might have even a Bing icon here, uh, depending on your setting, for the Bing chat AI and the Bing AI. You can also remove it completely. So this is what you have available for you. So um, depending on how you're set up, you can change that. The other option that you will have is that uh, the updated um, experience for show hidden items. When you have that little arrow here, which is show hidden icons, what happened is that before the moment two, you couldn't really rearrange them. Now you have the ability to rearrange these icons and put them in a different position so you can move them around. This is also something new that is um, happening there. You have a optimized taskbar for two-in-one devices and tablets, which makes it better for the taskbar to use uh, in the uh, touch screens. File Explorer Search, which is a big improvement in speed, and I have experienced quite a few of that. Uh, it is true that the speed of the uh, search in the... Uh, File Explorer is actually greatly improved, so this is good news because sometimes it was a little slow. You have AI-powered recommendations uh, for files in the start if uh, you are, um, of course, using your operating system in that way. So that's another thing to understand. Uh, you have the Bing search bot AI recommended so this is uh, all things that happen with, of course, the famous chatbot and being signed in to use all of that. So this is available in there. You have also the full screen widgets. If you go into the widgets, now you have a double arrow that will bring you to full screen widgets if you desire to do so. And that is also something new. If you have, but for that to have uh, this, you need actually a neural processing unit or NPU. Uh, there's really not many computers out there that have some. The latest uh, pro versions of the uh, Surface have it. The neural processing unit or NPU will give you Windows Studio effects and different apps where you can actually have different backgrounds that are virtualized. Uh, but that requires an MPU, so pretty much nobody has that. Energy, energy use recommendations also in this, if you go into the settings. So if you go into your battery settings and the settings for the power and battery, you will have now a new uh, recommendation for how to use your PC, what's you know hogging all that energy and so on. Um, there's seamless switching between narrator and on-screen readers when you are using a, a bright display. And that's pretty much what we have in the accessibility features, and that's what we have in the Moment 2. So that applies to Windows 11, 
22H2 after today's security updates of Patch Tuesday. You'll have these new features that are available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.